This is Greg and Shelly Hansen with Hansen Home Team here at Jane's Realty Group in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. If this is your first time visiting our channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to tap that bell to get notified when we post new content. So as agents, we've seen a cooling trend in the market in about the last year. We know that there's many potential buyers kind of waiting on the sidelines, waiting for those interest rates to come down. If that is you, this video is for you. Our guest today is Brad Chambliss with Revolution Mortgage, and he's going to talk to us about buying a home in today's market from a lender's view. Brad? Well, thank you. Hey, I appreciate the invitation and the opportunity. Well, thank you. I mean, it's, I always love working with you guys. You do a phenomenal job with working with your clients thank and the you. effort that you put and the care that you give them. Uh, it's, it's, it's impressive. So I'm honored, to, honored that you're asking me to be with Revolution Mortgage now. We've worked for years together. Uh, and many, many clients that we've helped to get into homes. And we've transitioned recently over to Revolution Mortgage, excited about that transition, mm -hmm. the products that they have, the competitive rates, mm -hmm. uh, and you know the focus that they take on all demographics of borrowers, not just your perfect credit scores and your $500,000 homes, but more importantly, the first time home buyers mm -hmm. and somebody that are stepping out for the first time you know, what tools do they have? What programs do they have right. to make that transition from a renter to a home buyer possible? And that's something that I'm really excited about with the new programs that we have uh, available. Yeah, that's something that we're very passionate about as well. Today, so we're going to be asking some questions about the market, the interest rates, things like that. And what, what should a buyer expect if they're going out into this market with these interest rates, things like that? From a lender's point of view, what should they right. expect? You know, from a lender's point of view, I mean, it's the, our point of view is from the borrower's point of view. Because we got to make sure that we're always looking at this. It's a language. We talk this language every day. Yeah. Yeah. We talk mortgagees. But a new buyer does not. And, right. you sure. know, DTIs and LTVs, that might as well be Polish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the first time you're coming into the market, you got to make sure that you're simplifying it to where everyone can understand and feel right. comfortable with that product because it's an important decision. Yeah, it's You know, buying your decision. home is this is where you're going, it's where you're putting your family. This is where you're going to be creating memories. This is where you're going to have your Christmas mornings and your your snow day mornings and all that in this home. And that's important. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's got to... One of the most expensive investments you'll make in your life. It, it really. really is. And, and it is an investment. You know, we've all gone through the numbers of the, where if you rent a home, thousand dollars a month, ten years from now, you spend one hundred twenty thousand dollars. How much equity do you have? Yeah. Nothing. Exactly. Exactly. If you invest in your home, you're going to have net worth. You're going to have value. You're going to have assets. And when you move to your second home, or you're keeping the first home, or you're selling it to have your down payment for your next home, or you keep it and you have a rental property, which is a part of your retirement portfolio. All of that is stuff that we need to consider when we're setting up a game plan for a bar. And, and when do you start looking? You start looking before you need a home. Yes, and you start having those conversations. The market where we sit right now. You know, rates have been higher. Yeah. You know, yeah. October 21 is when they were at their lowest, which, you know, we would love to go back to the <laughs> twos, but unless you've got a time machine, that's not happening. I want to see those the last, yeah, you know, the last time they were below three percent was in the Dwight D. Eisenhower administration. That's a long that time ago. Time. No, that that was before me and you guys, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. that's that's not going to happen again. Um, so you know, we may ever may never see those interest rates again, but rates do go up and down. A healthy interest rate is six percent. We're above that a little bit now. Right. We have programs that are there now, and some a little bit below. Um, but overall, you know, rates peaked last October at eight and a quarter, you know, and, you know, but we're significantly less than that now. Yeah, but every time they so go exciting. up, affordability goes down. Yes. Okay. We're in a great position right now because we know this year that rates on a, are on a trajectory to go down. Everything's looking in that way. You know, they're reading a report this morning that, that, Inflation should be down in the threes. Typically, interest rates run 3% higher than what the inflation rate is for the country. So we get back down in the threes. Now, when inflation was up to 8.5, we should have been at 11.5. Yeah. 
last year, but it was unfortunately because of the things that the Fed <laughs> that the Fed was doing to help to modify that a little bit. So it's we're bad we're enough there. That. Yeah. But but I tell people all the time when they when they when we start having the conversations about should I buy based on an interest rate? Never. Yeah. You never buy based on an interest rate. You buy based on what your needs are. You just found out you're having another baby. You just got a prospect of another job. You may be moving or you may re be retiring. I want to downsize, okay? You don't, you know, when you're chasing rates and making that part of your decision for buying a home, it's like chasing a butterfly. Mm -hmm. It's elusive and it's always changing. And right. there's so many variables that, that keep, it, keep it flying away from you. Mm -hmm. You make it based on a decision because, and we talked about this many times before, you know, this may be your forever home. It's not your forever rate. True. And it's not your forever program. Things change, and we plan on, we factor in, say, hey, this may be the, the loan that you need to get started, but we'll get a strategy for how to refinance in six months or 12 right. months or whenever the timing's right. Mm -hmm. So that will save you. It's, you know, it's, we, we look for people that we're for clients for life. Not just a transaction. We are not a transactional business. I know, I know you all are not either. You yeah. got people that have come back to you three, four, multiple times, brought their kids back to you mm -hmm. because you do a great job working with them. And that's such an honor. It really is. That's we can't even tell you how much we appreciate that when people yeah. do that. It's, it, it is the biggest honor, and that's how we build our business because we want. You know, I want the majority of my business come from people that we've worked on before, mm -hmm. and their friends and their families. Yeah. And that, and because if you don't just look at that one transaction, you're looking at what your game plan is, not for now, but your family's game plan ongoing, because right. you're always going to need a place to live. Mm -hmm. We want to be a part of that transaction with you. But starting off with that first home, that's why I love it. That loving with first, or love working with first time home buyers is, is really one of the most exciting things that I do. Yeah. It's like taking Same somebody, yeah. it's like taking somebody to Disney World for the first time. Yeah, it is. You know, you may have ridden Space Mountain a million times, <laughs> but if you go through that the first time with somebody who's buying their home for the first time, mm -hmm. it's like you did it the first time. You know, and it's funny because what if you haven't been to Disneyland in years and things have changed? But somebody that has owned their home for 10, 15 years and they get back into the market, it's almost like they're a first time home buyer as well because Things have changed so things much. Changed, yeah. or you know, you forget about these things as it time is. goes by. So yeah, it's con it's constantly evolving, changing. Rules are changing. Yeah, and you know, it, it's it's the variables, and but that's what that's what makes it exciting. It is. That's what I love about it. That and I love looking at houses. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if a buyer isn't sure if they'd qualify for a home loan, where would be the first place you'd want them to start? Okay, first place you need to start is let's take an application. Let's look at your credit report. Let's make sure everything there, because there may be some collections you didn't know about. Mm -hmm. There may be some some accounts that you didn't realize that you were 30 days late because you sent it in on the 29th day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some things like that that we may need to fine tune and to help you with. There's a lot of times people will say, my credit isn't good enough. Well, do you, do you know for sure? I mean, have you talked to a lender? So we always yeah. refer them off. This is something that I take to heart. Nobody comes to my office, hears the word no. It may be a not right now, mm -hmm. right. okay? But they will never leave my office without having gone through their credit report and saying, hey, here's what you gotta do. This is your game plan. Yeah. We need to change your buying habits. We need to change your whatever habits. Uh, we need to focus on, let's get a credit card opened up. Let's yeah. get rid of some credit cards. Every situation's different, but you're gonna have a game plan because I really believe everybody needs to own a home. There's a home out there with your name on it, and <laughs> and, we'll and have to find it. And you may not, you may feel like you don't own, you don't have the ability to do it. You do have the ability to Absolutely. buy a home. Yes. And it's just a matter of getting the right team together to to help you to do that. We've always seen, and you know, historically, I think that we can all say this is the truth. When the interest rates start coming down. You're going to see more buyers, the ones that are on the sidelines waiting to jump in. They're going to start coming out, and they're going to be looking, and then all of a sudden, those houses, because there's more buyers, are going to start going up in price. You're going to start seeing multiple offers on every house again. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. So we had that a couple years ago where 
But when you did find your home, to love, you were going to be in competition with another five, six, however many other buyers. Right. Absolutely. So that 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 wasn't fun for a lot. Of you people. know, right now it's a great time. It's a unique time because the rates are a little bit higher. They're going down. Every time the rate goes down, more people enter the market. Mm -hmm. That's very true. When the weather gets better, more people enter the market. Yes. When they make an announcement about Ford's expanding or Jeffersonville's having a new plant coming in, more people enter the market. Right. That's more competition. That drives prices up. So I would rather pay a higher interest rate, you know, say for a two hundred thousand dollar home, mm -hmm. than paying a lower rate for and have to pay two hundred forty thousand dollars for that same home. Because we can always fix the interest rate when rates go down. You can never go backwards on your purchase price. As we wrap up today, if you want to get pre-qualified, we're going to go ahead and share Brad's link for uh, the application process. Thank you. And it's been an honor to be able to visit with you all. Well, thank you very much for coming out and talking to us. Thank you. It's been enlightening. I like it. I like it.